Ah, another day, another Disney live-action remake of a beloved animated movie. Because as we all know, nothing says creativity and imagination like retelling the same story over and over again without having to take the risk of coming up with something new and unproven. And when it comes to milking, Sorry, exploring old properties with strong followings and name recognition that guarantee a good return on investment, Disney truly are the masters of the trades. First you had Beauty and the Beast, then you had Aladdin, then you had The Lion King, then Mulan. Well now, get ready for Peter Pan and Wendy. A reimagining of the classic children's story by Scottish author J.M. Barry about a young British girl named Wendy who travels to the magical world of Neverland with the swashbuckling hero Peter Pan and his gang of lost boys. Only this time updated for modern audiences. And it's about time too. Sure, the original story might be widely regarded as a literary classic that reshaped the landscape of children's storytelling, sensitively dealing with complex ideas like the inevitability of aging and the loss of childish innocence, the power of imagination and belief, and the importance of ultimately moving on and growing up. But it's also deeply problematic, enforcing damaging stereotypes and outdated ideas that we just can't allow to exist these days. They must be removed at any cost. And if the recent trailer that got released is anything to go by, I'm confident that today's fine scriptwriters have done a fantastic job of fixing these problems. Like The Lost Boys, for example, which by their nature were sexist and exclusionary. Yeah, the origins of The Lost Boys in the novel were actually a subtle compliment to female intelligence and sensibility, since in the words of Peter Pan himself, the Lost Boys were babies who fell out of their prams, while girls were far too clever to let something like that happened to them. And all of this was tied into the overarching theme of Wendy, a girl, being a mature and steadying influence on the group, ultimately bringing them to the realisation that they couldn't remain as children forever and that it was time for them to go home and live full and complete lives at last. But of course, that kind of subtle exploration of the different perspectives and outlooks of boys and girls, particularly in a story with a female protagonist, is dangerous and damaging because we need to be constantly reminded that girls can punch and fight and do adventure stuff too. And what's so great about the trailer is that it manages to work this change into the plot in a subtle, elegant and organic way, rather than just trying to shove it in your face with some clumsy piece of cheesy dialogue. But you're not all boys. So? Nailed it. But what about Peter Pan himself? Let's take a look at this classic roguish mercurial adventurer for the modern age. Peter Pan? Were you expecting someone else? Uh. Or how about Tinkerbell, the fairy who helps and guides Wendy, but also has an unrequited crush on Peter. Now, you might remember her from the 1950s animated movie, or the 1990s movie Hook, or the 2003 movie. Well, let's see how she's looking in 2023. Ah, just like I remember. It really silences those critics who claim that modern Disney remakes are just lazy race and gender swaps of established characters in a vain attempt to pander to minorities, often disrespecting the cultural heritage of the source material. Take that, haters! Personally, I expect the objects of Tinkerbell's affections will turn out to be Wendy this time around, but maybe I'm just crazy. Actually, talking about Wendy, you might remember from the original literature and the animated movie that Wendy becomes a kind of maternal figure to Peter and the Lost Boys, helping to maintain their home and teach them manners and discipline that they lacked before. And that even though she got captured and had to be rescued by Peter, she represented something far more powerful even than him. The ability to leave behind the childish ignorance of Neverland and grow up to make a real life for herself and become something more than she was. And that this ability is ultimately what helps the rest of the Lost Boys to leave Neverland behind and return to the real world with her. But that's not the kind of subtle thinking that we encourage in modern writing. Instead, we need to show Wendy as an ass-kicking, sword-fighting girl boss who can take on two of Captain Hook's pirates at the same time and fight almost as well as Peter himself. Because, as we all know... Girls get it done. Honestly, I think this movie looks like a fantastic addition to the Disney Plus lineup, really honouring the legacy of one of their most iconic films from the classic era of animation, and if the stellar trailer reception is anything to go by, audiences are gonna absolutely love it. And I can't wait to see it happen. <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got for today.
Go away now.